Are we clear on this matter now? Whenever you refer to me, it's Princess, okay? But why? Why can't I call you Rosalind? Or Rosy? As some kind of demon, you should show me your proper respect and admiration for being the daughter of your overlord. But you haven't done anything for us to respect you for. I, uh, I don't mind calling you that. I kind of like saying it. Princess. Hey, stop trying to brainwash my little brother and sister with your propaganda. Foolish human, I am not brainwashing them. I am providing them with a rudimentary education for when they become my servants. Aha, mademoiselle, I feel that you possess summoning skills. I am highly impressed. Would you mind giving a handsome fog and lesson? Perhaps back there where no one can see us, huh? <laughs> oh my. You shouldn't go around teasing old ladies. <sighs> Do not say such things when I gaze into those three beautiful, innocent eyes of yours. You set my heart ablaze. Oh, <laughs> you've got guts. Seducing a wife in front of her husband. Drak Tink Mahalak! Huh? What was I doing? Ah, quit fooling around. Let's go. You better take me to Zen on today. You are much too impatient. Do you wish to die so soon? There they go. I hope they come home safely. Watching your son go off to fight every day is just as painful as fighting. Well, I'm glad he's made some friends, though. Me too. No matter how strong he gets, he shouldn't fight alone. The battlefield is no place to be lonely. Why don't we fight with them? Adele isn't alone! Hanukkah is here for him! That's right. But the only thing we can do is believe in him and remain safely at home. Is that really all we can do? here is boring. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
today. Hmm, let's see. Are you really trying to figure it out? I have to do something about Xenon's curse before it gets worse. Don't you want to be back with your father? Then take this seriously. Monsieur Adele, do you not think you are being a bit uh, too harsh? Especially since she will be summoned against her will? Ah, uh, I can't believe I'm being lectured by a talking frog. If you are determined to meet Overlord Zenon, I will take you to him. But only if you have the courage to face him. Just let me know when the terror sinks in and you change your mind, okay? <laughs> I won't change my mind. I will defeat Zenon. Tink, can you handle this? I will be fine. You brought me along to help you end his life, yes? Yes. I need your coming. Then leave it to think. I shall surpass your expectation. Excusez-moi, Monsieur Adele. Your mother was once a human, but she is a powerful summoner, no? Indeed. She surprised me as well. I never knew that humans could become such great summoners. Well, I heard that she was a pretty famous summoner when she was young. She doesn't really talk about it, but according to the townspeople, she used to get requests from nobles and royalty. Hmm. Did she learn how to summon all by herself? No, she said a friend taught her a long time ago. She doesn't remember much since Zenon's cursed our world. I see. You must be very proud of her. But to be able to teach someone else skills to that extent, that friend must have been a great summoner.
place to do this, but we gotta eat sometime. Hanako made us some rice balls to eat. Do you want some? Ignorant fruit! Inviting a lady to eat in a place like this is simply inappropriate. Don't you have any manners? She is right, Monsieur Adel. Do you expect a princess to dine in such a big <laughs> snipe? So what? You're not gonna eat? I shall try some. Princess! You are going to eat? We mustn't let Hanako's food go to waste. Besides, I'm hungry. All right, here you go. Hmm, so this is a rice ball. I have never eaten food of this kind before. Stink. Yes, Princess? I must warn you, I am not going to share my rice ball with you. That isn't what I was going to ask you. Are you certain I can leave all the planning to you? Princess, your doubt is like an arrow through my heart. Do you not trust me? Honestly, I do not trust you at all. If 
did not even stop to think about it. Eh, very well, let me explain. These swamps are famous for being quite dangerous. You see, there are unique monsters around here. Some of the older ones are said to be well over level 100. They are thought to come from UFOs. So, I suggest we get this monster to eat Adele. Instead of fighting, we can run away! I see. You are evil. Au contraire. I am not as evil as you. <laughs> All who oppose my father must die. He desires to fight, so his fate is already sealed. But if that happens, how will Taro and Hanako feel? something. Why isn't Xenon trying to rescue you? I mean, we should know that you're missing by now, right? Why isn't this all over the news? We should have bounty hunters chasing us with shootouts and everything. You! You dare mock me! Are you implying that I am not the real daughter of Xenon? Um, what are you talking about? My father cherishes me! Beautiful mansion built just for me. All those furniture is made just for me. Servants who work just for me. And he sends me flowers and gifts every day. All for me and only me. Who else would Overlord Xenon do such things for? Who? Answer me. What are you getting so angry about? No one said anything about you not being his daughter. I just wanted shootouts. What you get for asking rude questions. Yeah. <laughs> 
something? What? Are you still mad at me? Are you planning to ask another rude question? No, I'm not. I was just wondering what kind of man Overlord Zenon is. All I've heard are the legends. No one has seen Zenon and lived to tell about it. So I have no idea what he's really like. Well, my father is a kind and generous man. He always protects me with all his might. There is no one more respectable than him. Hmm, what do you say, Tink? Well, I have never met him personally, but um, he is not someone you want to upset, huh? Anyone who defies him or fails to follow an order is killed immediately. His cruelty, mm, he is indeed an overlord. Wow talking about the same guy? But I guess even the feared god of all overlords can be sweet to his own daughter. Heh, I guess Zenon does have one soft spot. You! If it was only me, I would have let it go. But I will not abide you ridiculing my father! I, I, you're taking this all wrong. I'm just surprised that even a demon like Zenon can show parental love. I guess demons have families too. Do you really believe that? Hey! Don't stand so close to me! It is exactly as you said. My father does love me. That special bond between my father and I, it is the love we share between father and daughter. Well, it's good to know that demons feel affection too, I guess. But her father is the demon I must defeat. Damn it. I shouldn't have asked her about him. It just makes it harder to defeat him. Yeah. 
Huh? This is strange. The monster we are waiting for should have found us by now. Shh! He must not hear us. What sort of monster are we searching for? You said it was unique to the swamp. It had better not be extinct already. How old are those legends? Have some patience, my dear princess. Do not worry, the monster will find us soon. monster in the pursuit of his life's goal would mean he had died in vain. And if he dies, Taro and Hanako will be really sad. Princess, are you getting soft? You are a demon! Not to mention you are also the daughter of Overlord Xenon! The weak will perish! That is the way of the world! Princess, do you count how many eggs were cracked this morning to make your omelettes? I prefer veal and truffles for breakfast. What you eat for breakfast is beside the point, huh? The point I try to make is that you must make sacrifices to survive. Princess, someday you will rule over every demon. Such heavy, sugar-coated thinking will not work with them. But he was different, Tink. He did not take me hostage. And he's even promised to return me to my father. And what is even more bizarre is he continues to struggle toward keeping that promise. Making a promise to an enemy, or even trusting an enemy. I cannot understand why he did it. I wish to discover what his true intentions are. Princess, what do you speak of? What's uncalled for? Who is responsible? Who wishes to receive the thrashing of their life? You! Stay right there! It is 2,000 spankings for you!
After all, it is common knowledge that the older ones grow as strong as level 100 or higher. Level 100? Huh. You better be careful the next time we see them. Princess, the buffoon was lucky this time, but he will not survive the next time, huh? <laughs> you do not look very happy. Did you not plan to kill him from the start? I suppose. But he trusts me. And he is trying to keep his promise to me, his enemy. I cannot understand why he is doing this. I wish to observe just how far he is willing to take this. Princess, do you feel all right? Has being out in the outside world for the first time clouded your mind? Perhaps. I may be acting irrationally at the moment. Please forgive me, Tink, but you will have to put up with my madness for a little while longer. Overlord Xenon. Have you found the princess? No, not yet. Fool, why have you returned then? We uncovered an interesting bit of information during our hunt for the princess. Well, tell me what you found. The palace near Hope Village was attacked. Could this be the doing of that demon lord who is rumored to be hiding out there? That is the most likely scenario. <laughs> A mere demon lord trying to oppose an overlord. They do not know their place. Fine. Lure that demon lord out into the open. We understand. As you wish, my master.
was just a waste of time. Is Overlord Xenon even on this worthless mud ball? No one's even seen the bastard. He must be hiding, dude. They said Overlord Xenon lived on Veldheim on yesterday's news. And we saw Overlord Xenon's daughter. He must be here, dude. Then why didn't you catch her? Don't tell me a spoiled little princess beat you up. We'll catch you next time, dude. We bought these provocative photos of her from a talking frog, and they weren't cheap. We can pass them around to help find her, dude. Tink, you are a shrewd businessman. It is some kind of trick, Princess. Their cunning trap to sabotage our perfect chemistry, huh? You mustn't be fooled. Dude, it's her! She's Overlord Xenon's daughter! That's her? Isn't it a little convenient that she's with the first group of people to pass us by? It's great! We found her, and we get to keep all the photos! Hey, those are... Aren't they the lackeys of some demon lord who wants to oppose Xenon or something? Are they truly demon lord Etnas? This is convenient. I shall rid you all at once. Perhaps you should not, Princess. Oh, I cannot bear to see you turned into a frog as well. But, if I defeat Etna, I may be able to return you to your human form. Listen, you. Which one of you is Demon Lord Etna? Show yourself at once, for I am Rosalind. The only daughter of Overlord Xenon. I challenge you to a duel. Hey, what are you doing? How is losing a duel gonna help me find Xenon? Oh, so you're Overlord Xenon's little girl. I guess you really do exist. Women and children should stand back. Now, where is this demon lord at? Um, hello! I am Demon Lord Etna, but you can call me Beauty Queen Etna! Sacre bleu! Lies! You do not look anything like the one who turned me into an idiot frog! What? Demon Lord Etna was not the one who attacked my father's palace and changed Tink into an ugly frog? I thought you said Demon Lord Edna did all that stuff. What's wrong with you? Well, you see, someone powerful did this to me. It wasn't Overlord Xenon, so it had to be Edna. Or so I thought. You were wrong all along, and now you're mad at us? Your red personality really bites. But there is some truth to what Tink said. How can we be certain that she is Demon Lord Edna? It is difficult to imagine that a demon lord would have such a flat chest. Flat 
that chest, huh? Ah! You are a demon lord! I am your loyal servant, master. Please, I am yours to command. Damn, that was a quick I surrender. Don't you have any pride? I proved I'm, I'm who I say I am. But what about you? you? Are you really yeah. Zenon's daughter? Yes, I am. I am Overlord Zenon's only daughter. Great! Can you take me home to Daddy? Like right now? Why? Why? So I can kill him and make myself the new Overlord, silly! Myself by killing you all one at a time. Who the hell brought us out here? Oh, damn it! It was me! I. I won't help you! I, Rosalind, will not be coerced! Oh, are you trying to protect Daddy? You are so adorable! But if you won't help me, then I'll just have to kill you first! I won't do it! I won't be bullied by a black-chested fornicatress like you! Ah! You really want to die, huh? You! You're very determined. I don't really like demons or girls, but I respect that you're risking your life to protect your family. What's your problem? Why'd you get in the way? Because I promised her that I would return her to her father. So, I can't let you kill her. I must protect her. What is this nonsense? She was attacking me. Why didn't you run? I made you a promise. I'm gonna keep that promise even if it kills me. You... you are that devoted to your silly ideals? You are actually going to keep your promise to me? Overlord Zenon's daughter? What? You don't believe me? Son of a... Fool! You are going to get yourself killed. You may not care if you die or not, but won't Taro and Hanako be sad if you do? Don't worry. I won't die. I still have other promises to keep. I still have to defeat Overlord Xenon! I don't understand. Everything you say and do is contradictory. You don't need to understand. All you gotta know is this is just my style. Uh, guys, I'm still here. You're either really brave or really ignorant. Mm, my money's on ignorant.
Keep my promises. Whatever it takes, I will take you back to your father. Why? I am Overlord Zenon's daughter. I am your enemy. Why are you trying so hard? I hate lies in any form. You hot blooded punks are always such a pain. But maybe I should just put him out of his misery. I'll make this easy. Just tell me where Overlord Zenon is. But if that's how you want it, this is your last chance. I can't tell you. Wow, you're a cold-hearted bitch. Sorry, boy toy. You heard the princess. I don't care. I choose to fight. All my life, I've always had my own style. Oh, how touching. Now you get to die in your own style, too. Wait, I really can't tell you. Sure you can. You just don't want to. No, you, you don't understand. The reason I cannot tell you is... It's 6 o'clock and time for the news! Let's start today with an update. Since the confirmation of Overlord Zenon's whereabouts, the backwater world of Veldheim is the latest travel hotspot! We're keeping a close eye on Veldheim as this story develops. Will Zenon finally be revealed after a million years? Will someone finally bring Zenon's reign of terror to an end? Demon and overlords around the universe are seeking the challenge. What the hell was that? I sacrificed my own health to give them that information and they didn't even mention my name? What about my glorious comeback? I started this whole craze. I made this Veldime rush possible. Why didn't I get any credit? The network execs canned us out of everything. They don't even have our money. I called them, but they all act as if they don't know anything about us. No. Have they abandoned me on this hellhole? Me, Axel, the dark hero? <laughs> they have abandoned us. 
<laughs> Unless the network sends a crew to pick us up, there's no way we can return! No, the gig's not over yet! I'm Axel, the Dark Hero! There's no situation I can't rock out of! Ah, Axel, darling! I've got a reason to go back, and a home to get back to! 